Hey everyone, it's Ivan, CapeAdger.com, out here for another gear review today, talking little red dots, this guy right here, which is the Trijicon SRO Specialized Reflex Optic. Which brings us to what is specialized about this. Well, first let's look at the RMR. RMR, arguably gold standard with respect to pistol mounted optics, as far as just hard use durability. Kind of, kind of the gold standard. A lot of that is the geometry. Basically, it comes up, drops down, comes back down. So it kind of almost looks like an M or something along those lines. But that geometry with that housing made out of aluminum, it's incredibly strong. You basically have these two points that'll take impact before the actual, essentially, housing or more frame portion of the lens does. So with that, they're incredibly durable. You can probably just sit there and chip concrete with one of those corners. This is not that. This was actually made more towards the competitive or sporting side. So made for competition or like I said, sporting, whether it's going out to the range, maybe hunting, maybe just having fun at the range. And this was made for that. So you don't necessarily have the same durability. I'm not saying this is really fragile, but it is not an RMR. This ultimately has a circular window, which greatly increased greatly increased field of view and with that honestly in my experience usually way easier to pick up one it's a circle and the eye is really good at lining things up with respect to circles think about military sites where you have a post that you're basically lining up in the center of a rear peep site same thing here that dot is pretty much in the middle of the circle makes it really easy to find Additionally, kind of this dimension here, where it's a little bit deeper, that is pretty handy in that when you bring it up, if you see any shadow, kind of immediately cues you into like, oh, let me move it a tiny bit so that I am lined up behind this thing, at which point the dot is usually visible right there for you. I will say I have largely used this SRO outside of kind of the scope it was designed around. What do I mean? Well on pistols. This right here, my Glock 17, cut for an RMR cut, and again, kind of gold standard, most pistol mounted optics use that RMR cut. This one right here being the Hollow Sun 507 CX2, and basically shares that same footprint, which is handy because you can go ahead and use different optics with that same slide cut. Problem is, when I got this slide cut, I had the rear sight move forward. What that did for me, that dovetail, so that depending on ejection patterns of Glocks or any pistol for that matter, if brass comes out and comes back, it'll basically deflect off of that rear sight, that suppress right sight, rather than beating up your window on your optic, which is cool. But while this does share the same footprint as a Trigicon RMR, as you can see, it's basically kind of cantilevered forward that window so it doesn't fit on this pistol. So I have borrowed a buddy of mine, a buddy's pistol, shot it some, definitely great on there. But the lion's share of the time has been on basically AR carbines, AR pistols, to include even some shotguns. Usually on this guy right here, this Scalarworks Leap Mount, actually shot a course using the CMMG 5.7 upper. Thing did really good on there. And yeah, shot on a number of different hosts. Again, to include my son's shotgun, a Mossberg Bantam 500, things a blast. Even did a little shooting with this at night under nods on that shotgun. Which I guess dovetails straight into settings. This has eight different settings number of which are daylight bright to include a fireball at that top end, but it also has two night vision settings. So yeah, you can pretty much use this on a lot of different things.
Nice, good shot. With that being my experience, how do I like it? As I mentioned, only use it on my buddy's pistol, but to that end, it worked great. Easy and quick to pick up comparatively to when I first picked up an RMR, I think largely just because of how big the window is and the fact that it's actually a circle. There's also not really a cast to it, as far as kind of that blue tint you get with some reflex or red dot sights for that matter. One thing I will say on a pistol, it sits high, like eh, higher than I would like, which is it a deal breaker? I don't know. As I mentioned, most of my time was spent with this on AR carbines, AR pistols. Really fun little optic on there, really quick to pick up, incredibly lightweight, especially in this little Scalar Works mount. And yeah, no, I really enjoyed shooting on there. I will say this suffers from the same Achilles heel as every other like RMR or reflex site for that matter with an exposed emitter, being that it has an exposed emitter. I've been places carrying my Glock with a Trigicon RMR in there, look down and like surprise it's full of snow or maybe it's rainy and now there's a bunch of rain in there. And if you get anything that actually obstructs the little emitter in there, whether it's mud, things along those lines, then it can just wholesale like you no longer have a dot or maybe you get water over the emitter and you have a really kind of weird shaped red dot in there like that is a very real thing of having an exposed emitter but as far as just a ultralight option i think it's pretty fun again i wouldn't necessarily like put it on a duty carbine as a primary optic but for something to take to the range or maybe even hunting with, whatever, no, it's a really fun, light, lightweight option. With that in mind, who do I think the SRO would be good for? Well, someone looking for a specialized reflex optic. Now, someone looking for something along these lines where you don't maybe necessarily need that really super hard durability of a RMR and are looking for a larger field of view especially something that's pretty circular, easier to pick up. I think this does a great job. So whether it's competition or kind of sporting use, whether it's fun days at the range, maybe hunting, things along those lines, I think this do a great job for that. And while no, this is not the most durable thing like the RMRs have kind of got a reputation for, this does have something the RMR does not, which is actually kind of a big deal you essentially go straight down from the top, remove this plate, and you can take the battery out. That's huge, because with the RMRs, you have to actually remove them, battery goes in from the bottom, now you have to re-zero it. Not fun. Dimensionally, the SRO measures 2.2 inches by 1.3 by 1.4 inches. Weighs only 1.6 ounces. The unit runs off of one CR2032 lithium battery, and can be left on continuously for approximately three years on brightness level four out of eight. You can manually adjust between eight brightness settings to include two night vision modes or put it on auto brightness feature, which basically will adjust based off of ambient light. The housing is made out of 7075 aluminum and is waterproof up to 10 feet deep. The unit doesn't require tools to adjust the windage or elevation, featuring one MOA clicks. Simply use pretty much any brass casing to make your adjustments. A couple more nice things I will say with the SRO are a few different options. On the one hand, you can actually adjust this down, up, as far as brightness goes, and basically user adjustable depending on what you want to do, but you can also set it to where you no longer do that. You know, basically just adjust off of ambient light if you just want to kind of set it and forget it, which is kind of handy. Something I do really like though is options with respect to that red dot. So you can get it set for a five MOA dot, in which case if you're just going to use it pistols, probably pretty close distances, 
that might be a really good option. But they also offer a 2.5 MOA dot as well as a 1 MOA dot. So if you're going to use it strictly on like a little carbine, something along those lines, maybe that 1 MOA dot so you can really refine that point of aim. Or if you want kind of general purpose all around, 2.5 MOA, which is actually what I have in this one. Pretty sweet little red dot though. So depending on use and application, I don't know, it might fit the bill. Definitely incredibly lightweight and yeah, fun little optic to shoot. But if you appreciate my content and want to support it, I really appreciate it. Whether it's liking and sharing videos or going over to kitbatch.com, picking up some patches, stickers, KBAT target pads, or supporting me directly through Patreon, helps me get out, create more content for you. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. It's been on AR pistols or AR rifles and